please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, it's just one click. Welcome back to another episode of Graham Tinkers. What we've got on the bench today is an SM Pro Audio, and this is the M Patch 4M, and it has a faulty control on this channel. When you play the audio through, you get a lot of crackling, so it's probably going to be a just a problem with the with the pot or the switch, maybe a dry joint, or maybe it's just some oxidization on there. So we just give it a bit of a clean and see if that uh, solves the problem. Um, this is uh, yeah, just a, a studio uh, monitoring piece of equipment. So this would go in a, in a studio and then you can route the audio through to various locations um, so it can be monitored and uh, you can speak to uh, the person who's in the recording room doing their recordings. Oh, let's uh, pop the cover off and uh, see if we can do something with this switch. screws in this lid. Okay, it looks like we have to remove the uh, front panel as well because yeah, the bit we need to get to is here which is going to be on the underside of this board here. Starters. Okay, under the second larger board. That's very well nicely made. Lots of board to board interconnects rather than having the cables. Okay, so this is the switch that's giving us problems. This one here, or this pot. So I think the best thing to do before taking everything to pieces is just uh, spray both of them with some uh, contact cleaner and see if that uh, solves our problem for us. Okay. Let's see if we can take the knob off of this one first. It'll be easier. No, we can't get it in that way. switch then. That's a little bit more accessible. Thank you. 
the solder joints look okay. I can't see anything on there that would suggest that it's a dry joint. Although I might just try reflowing those. But let's just stick some audio into there first and then uh, see uh, if we get the uh, same problem. Uh, I'll have to get something from the YouTube copyright free library because I don't want to get any uh, copyright strikes. Okay, so we've got the unit hooked up to some uh, studio monitors and uh, the computer as a source. So let's just play this and see if the problem's been fixed. <laughs> to fix the problem. When you tap the switch before it was giving some really bad crackling sounds and now it's perfect. Okay, let's try on another channel. Seem to have fixed that issue, and let's go and uh, do some more testing and find out if there's any more issues with the uh, unit. So that seems to have totally cured um, the problem. So what I'll do is I'll just um, spray some of these other switches and contacts, you know, just to make sure that they're uh, all good. Let's just get the power first because. Just make sure all these cables are properly in. Nothing's coming loose. wire here. So that is connected to that pin there on the mic control and it disappears somewhere on the to the next board down. Jack uh, 7812 power regulator, so just yeah, there's a little bit of uh, power circuitry in there. I think it mainly needs it for this little preamp here, which is for the uh, little headphone amp. Um, and you probably can't see it because these are uh, SIP packets. This is a JRC, so Japan Radio Corp uh, amp in there. Um, NJM 4556AL. I'm not presuming the other one is also another amp, so it's probably going to be two single 
sides there. Let's just, let's just gently bend that back and then get in there and read the number. Just a bit of extra right in there. Yeah, and that's also another amplifier. And that's a 4558L, by the looks of it. Yeah, we've just got a few other input boards here. It's all pretty simple. Just a couple of uh, relays on here. But other than that, most of it is, yeah, passive. And a lot of electrolytics on the bottom input board. Yep, by and large it looks, uh, seems to be working out okay now, it was just that one channel that um, was crackly and intermittent and that's just simply because of the uh, just corrosion on there. Okay, on the bottom board and you see there there's another bodge wire, you probably can't see it on the camera because it's a black wire and it's pretty dark down there. There's no point uh, taking it apart any further, that has fixed the issue. So, pretty uneventful repair, pretty simple one, um, so uh, we will uh, catch you guys and girls next time. If you've made it to the end of this video, then please consider hitting that subscribe button.